Good morning, this is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in Greensboro. We've got another house that's under contract. And as part of the sale, we need to correct the drainage issues. So let's take a quick look. This area of the house sits underneath this little hill right here. And so there's a lot of water coming off the hill, just kind of like seeping through. And you can see just how wet it is over here. So everything's been marked. <clears throat> we're gonna catch these two gutters with solid. And we're gonna put in a little French drain here. So we're gonna start the French drain right about in here in this low spot. I would have liked to have taken the French drain along both sides, but they didn't want to do that. So we're going to do French drain to here, about in here somewhere, put a Y in, a little bit of French drain this way, just a little bit of gravel, just because this kind of is like a little spot right here, I guess you could say, where it's funneling in. And we're going to take it down to the curb with solid. This gutter seems to be okay. We'll probably stick an elbow on that just to have it directed away a little bit. And we'll be bringing it right down to the curb here. So we should be in pretty good shape.
All right, we got this all dug out. I wanted to show you real quickly. Take a look right here where all this water is just seeping through the ground right here. And it's been quite warm today, but this is definitely a spot where there's a lot of water coming through here. We've got quite a load of dirt in the dump truck there. And we had to break out the boards. This house is under contract and this work needed to be done even though the conditions aren't ideal. So we were out today in the mud, but I wanted to show you real quickly what's going on here. You can see all this water coming in here. And when we dug this out, it was all dry. So we started digging right here and there wasn't any water seeping in. So that wasn't the right place to be. This is the right place to be. And you can see the water is just coming through this bank right here. And you can even see it flowing right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's water flowing right there. And so you want your trench for your French drain to be right where it's collecting water. And so it's doing the same thing up here. Look at this. And so what's going to happen here is once we get our gravel and our perforated pipe in here, see that was all standing water earlier today, right there. So once we get our pipe in here, we will basically be representing a path of least resistance for all this water. So instead of it just sitting here, it will find its way to the road. So this is looking really, really, really good. We just went and ate lunch and got some gravel. And it's probably been about an hour and a half or so, and I wanted to show you this. Look at how much water is being collected already. And so this is a good sign because this is telling us that this is the ditch that we want our pipe in because it's already collecting water. So as soon as we give that water a place to go, it's gonna start flowing right downhill. Look at all that water. Here I am back on this job the next day. My guys were unavailable today, so I had to come over here by myself. I needed to fill in the rest of this trench with gravel, but I wanted to show you what this trench looked like the following day. Take a look at all this water in here. And we saw earlier from the day before that the water was definitely pooling in there. But look at the amount of water that's seeping through that retaining wall, and it's gonna head up through our pipe and down to the curb. We're also going to replace those two gutters just to help keep the water out and carry it away. But this is telling us that this is exactly where we want to be with our trench and our French drain.
the idea here was to let this water go after I dug the trench so I wasn't working in mud. But this is what a French drain, so this is what this, once I get this pipe in here, this is what the pipe's gonna do. The French drain's gonna collect the water like a French drain should. My solid pipe is going to carry it to the curb. Hopefully this won't make too much of a mess. I wanted to show you how strongly that's still flowing there. And that is a testament to the fact that the gravel basically lets water flow through it. And so the water gets into the gravel, it freely flows, gets into the pipe, and then carried away. So let's get back to work here. Look at all the water that's still flowing through there. Pretty cool. I guess we're gonna I just got this pipe laid in here and I wanted to show you real quickly everything's got great fall to it of course we're going down a hill so it wasn't too hard to achieve that oh I got that in there had to use some rain or shine with that water but it all went in so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna get this covered up right now. Then I've gotta go hit another job real quick and bring some more pipe back in here. So I've got one gutter yet to catch, which is right here. So we're gonna catch that. Just do an above ground pipe like they had there and get this all covered up real nice. All right, let's get this covered up. We are just about finished up with this job so let's take a look got everything covered back up and I wanted to show you down here that water is flowing right there from that French drain so we cut the curb patched it and we got a nice little flow of water through there so it hasn't rained here in several days and all that water that came down when, when I first dug the trench. This is now just being collected by the French drain. So here we caught this gutter and we caught this gutter which was similar to what they had, but they had corrugated and it was all uh, degraded and broken and split. So this problem over here should be solved. I still forgot my cap over there, so I've got to come back in the morning and cap that and move that gravel over there. But we are finished with this job. It is the next morning over here and we've got some rain going on so I wanted to come check on this pipe so take a look at all the water coming out of that pipe So every bit of water coming out of there represents water that used to be landing up here. And you can see that this, this yard is just a, uh, it's got some problems to begin with. So we're helping to alleviate those problems by carrying that water away. This gutter also on the neighbors is also another big problem. So you can see over here, this is where that water is coming from right there. 
but over here on our work things are looking pretty good so one of their main concerns is water standing right here in this area and you can see there's not much water here so it's been pouring all night so I'm really pleased with how this is working. <laughs>